Hello, and welcome back to another Bear With Me with me, Bear Elliot. And today we have another Bear Essentials that is all about the Avengers. Yes, Avengers 2 was released in theaters technically last night, but we'll say May 1st, because that's today. After work, I had to find myself, well, I didn't have to. I just magically appeared in AMC to go see Avengers 2, Age of Ultron. Now, first, let me start this very central review with a heads up. This is not a spoiler review. I'm not going to spoil any of the details because I myself cannot stand spoilers. I don't like them. I don't like when people secretly tell me things. No, that's not going to happen. So, this is going to just be a simple review about what I thought about the movie. I thought it was five out of five when it comes to my reviews. So that's five paws out of five paws. We're getting the review score out at the top because I have been so anticipating this movie and it's been so hyped that I was like, oh man, I hope my expectations aren't going to be like totally blown out of the water and I'm going to be disappointed. Not at all. It was incredible. I loved it. I really, really loved it. And here's the thing about the Marvel Cinematic Universe that DC has yet to catch on to. But we won't trash DC. DC's trying. They're the Jan Brady of the Marvel and the DC war. They're right behind our little Marsha. Marsha, Marsha, or it's Marvel, Marvel, Marvel. So, but yes, this is the great thing I loved about this film. It's not just an action film. Yes, it has that. It also has that comedy element that Marvel has become known for. That's what I love. It's light at points, heavy at certain points, but it's all about relationships. It's all about those characters building their relationships with each other. And you have so many things in play. You have romantic relationships in play between two characters. You have a conflict, almost like two rival brothers going on between Iron Man and Captain America, setting the scene for... The next movie that's coming out, which is Captain America Civil War, you can see the seeds starting to be planted, but they're not, like, blatantly in your face. People that are used to the Marvel characters will pick up on those little things, little little seeds being planted, but it's not, like, right in your face that, oh my god, this is totally just leading into the next movie. The relationship between the Black Widow and the Hulk. So you have Natasha Romanoff who has been programmed since she was a child to be a monster. You have the Hulk who is a monster. Bruce Banner is trying to eliminate that side of himself. So you have these two monstrous characters. That's just, it's like this Beauty and the Beast story that they've created with these two guys. I really enjoyed that. It was, it was very different. They've never done that in the comic books so it's something new and I really dug that and it was complex and she is the way that he can devolve from being the Hulk it's also very interesting that she was the the initial contact in the first movie to bring the Hulk in they play upon that then you have this whole secret life about one of the other characters that is exposed and it, that's even better and the introduction of the three new Avengers so I guess this is a slight spoiler, but how could it be a spoiler because they've been on all of the magazines? That you have the introduction of the Scarlet Witch, Quicksilver, who are brother and sister twins, so you have a relationship there, and they come from a very, like, very bad relationship in the past when it comes to how they, when they grew up and what happened to them as children. So they're st they have that deep, deep bond. Then you have the introduction of the brand new character of the Vision. I loved how they introduced him. The look of him was incredible. I really thought it was an update, but sticking with the classic, it's a great story of relationship that just happens to have characters with superpowers. That's the cool thing. But it was a great, great movie. I think it's appropriate for all ages. I love the, the theme that just runs through it and just keeps going. I thought the action scenes were appropriate, and Josh Wing did a beautiful job of creating this world for us. And if you're a fan of Josh Wheaton, Josh Wheaton, or Wheaton? Wheaton. I don't remember. How, how do you say his last name? Josh Wheaton? Nah, we'll just say Josh Wheaton. Because um, I, I keep thinking Will Wheaton, but that's not him. No, that would, no. 
that's something completely different. So yes, so once again, the Bear Essential Review for Avengers 2 Age of Ultron. It is a five out of five pause, incredible movie. Go out and see it. And hey, don't forget that tomorrow is free comic book day. So definitely make sure that you go see Avengers 2, then go to the comic book store and get yourself a free comic book. Or go get a comic book and then go see the movie. But yes, once again, this has been Bear Elliott with Bear Essentials. So thanks, everybody. Bye, Cublet! Like a gun in the dark, I see you calling my name I hear you shouting, hear you calling, but it's not the same Every weapon you are throwing right into my back Doesn't matter to me, cause I'm keeping my trick Let me go Let me go Let me go